Hi everybody and welcome to the South Florida Blade, your source for headlines that impact the LGBTQ plus community. I'm your anchor, Manny Simone, and thank you so much for tuning in this week. A quick reminder please to practice social distancing, wear a face mask, and if you feel sick, isolate yourself and seek medical care. Now, let's get to the headlines that you need to know. British primary schools will follow revised guidance, and that includes an emphasis about diverse families that recognizes LGBTQ plus people. Sean Delanty said, the revised guidance which comes into play from September 2020 may not be enough, but it provides a valuable basis for more inclusive education. Central to this would be varied and holistic whole school approaches to LGBTQ plus inclusion, which benefit everybody and not just those who are LGBTQ. The HRC says Republican U.S. Senate candidate Donald Bolduc used a homophobic slur in a television ad when he referred to liberal socialist pansies. I didn't spend my life defending this country to let a bunch of liberal socialist pansies squander it away. HRC also released a video of Bolduc saying that he does not believe the 1964 Civil Rights Act applied to LGBTQ plus Americans and that he is a believer in traditional marriage. BBC radio presenter Shivani Dave came out as non-binary live on air during their first radio show as part of a Pride special. After they played I'm Coming Out by Diana Ross, Shivani explained that coming out for LGBTQ plus people is a never-ending process. They explained on air, coming out is something a lot of us feel like we should do and it isn't just a one-time thing either. Being South Asian, I also hope to empower other minority LGBTQ plus people who are often unheard in the queer community. The South Florida Blade is proudly sponsored by the Pride Center at Equality Park. I love the Pride Center because they support the whole person, emotionally, spiritually, and socially. They provide HIV testing to more than 500 people each month. They offer support to LGBT parents and families. A photographer working for the NBA was dismissed after posting an offensive meme apparently aimed at Senator Kamala Harris on his Facebook page. The photographer, Bill Baptist, shared an image last week of a mock logo for the Democratic presidential ticket that says, Joe and the Ho, an apparent reference to Joe Biden and Harris, his running mate. An NBA spokesperson said, the photographer is an independent contractor and his services are no longer being used. A Trump campaign advisor is once again under fire after tweeting out a statement on the top health official in Pennsylvania and deliberately misgendering her. This guy is making decisions about your health, said Jenna Ellis. The tweet also linked to a story from May where Pennsylvania Secretary of Health Rachel Levine specifically asked not to be misgendered after the reporter called her sir several times during a press briefing on the pandemic. Christine Cruz, a photographer in the borough of Staten Island, unveiled an art installation dedicated to the Black Lives Matter movement. Titled Remember Their Names, the display consists of floral lawn art surrounding the names of those who fell victim to police brutality and pays homage to the Black Lives Matter movement. The artist claims that this is the first Black Lives Matter art display to appear on the south shore of Staten Island. Okay, everybody, that wraps up this edition of the South Florida Blade for Hotspots Media Group. Check us out online at hotspots.lgbt for continuous updates and breaking news. You can also follow us on social media and you'll stay up to date on what's happening in your community. I'm your anchor, Manny Simone, and thank you so much for tuning in this week. Don't forget, you can catch Sean Palacios on Hotspots Live every Monday for your guide to local entertainment. I look forward to seeing you again right here next Thursday. But until then, please stay safe and be well.